Hi family, this is me again. Had a little power outage for about 15 minutes or so. And in the process of trying to get my little power light up and my backup internet service, um, when I got back to the table and after switching the table, the story that I had planned to read um, was now the page had turned and it turned to a big jolt. So I skimmed it a little bit and when I saw things about the weather and lightning, I said, all right. So for whatever reason, reason I believe I'm supposed to read this story, so I'm going to read it. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you for the power being back on, Lord. And even though the power was out for 15 minutes, Lord, your power never left us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, I thank you for this story today. I ask that it would be a blessing. I didn't change the page, Lord, and the fan was off, had no air, nothing blowing, but so I'm going to read a big jolt. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the presence of prayer warriors and those who are praying for our time here on YouTube. Thank you, Lord, for your continued love being released in our lives, for opening our minds, Lord, up here, our hearts to receive. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. A big jolt. Our scripture lesson is titled Isaiah 25 verse 4 and it reads, For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a refuge from the storm. It was a typical summer afternoon in August 2018 with temperatures in the high 80s and lower 90s. For the past month, the weather had been giving us a reprieve from heat with brief rain showers. One afternoon, I was in the kitchen preparing dinner. My husband, who is legally blind, enjoys listening to the local and national news. It was raining lightly outside, nothing serious. I told him his news was coming on. Just as he turned on the television and set back down, a large bolt of lightning flashed through our window. Even as my husband called for me, I was already there. I had heard and seen it from the kitchen. It shut down my television, telephone, cable box, and Christian satellite box. Yet we were extremely blessed. Our house could have caught on fire, or my husband could have been struck by lightning. That was not the first time that lightning struck our home. We live on a hill surrounded by, not, by a lot of trees. The tornadoes and storm have blown down about five of them. I know God has his angels surrounding our home. We had no television or te telephone service for five days. We had to purchase a new TV set, cable box, satellite box, and telephone. We called an electrician wanting to make sure our home was grounded since it seemed as though our property is prone to incur damage during severe storms. The electrician walked around checking inside and outside. You are definitely grounded, he assured us. In God's word, we read about Christ's disciples in a boat during a storm. Jesus was asleep in the boat out of fear the terrified disciples awakened him. Jesus arose and rebuked the storm. Mark tells us that the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Mark chapter 4 verse 39. Jesus can also calm our storms. Not just the driving rain, the howling wind, and lightning bolts, but the fierce storms of life. Those times when we're struggling to pay our bills, those times when our cars break down and we have no transportation, those times when we get laid off from a job or our marriage fails. Yes, we all have storms in life, but the good news is that we may experience another type of lightning jolt from the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. It wakes us up and reminds us that we're not alone. We have a Father in heaven who loves us 
and strengthens us. He neither slumbers nor sleep. He neither sleep nor slumbers. He is standing at the door waiting for us to invite him in. He's at your door, family, and he's waiting to let you in. He's not going to burst through the door like a lightning bolt. He's not going to kick it in. He's not going to break in and steal, in every, steal anything from you. He's going to knock, and then he's going to wait patiently until you open the door, until I open the door. Amen. Thank God for the knocking on the door to our hearts. And we are so blessed when we open the door. So family, you already know, open the door and let him in. He will come in and calm every storm in your life. And if he don't calm it, he'll give you the proper gear so that you can get through it. He will give you all the tools that are necessary. It's called the whole armor of God. I don't recall the scripture right now, but I tell you, if you Google putting on the whole armor of God, it'll tell you from top to bottom what you got to put on so that you can get through the storms and you can get that big jolt that allows you to make it through despite any calamities, whether great or small, that are happening around you. Oh, Abba Father, thank you, Lord God, for that jolt that you give us. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit, your spirit speaking to us up here, touching us up here, Lord. And Father, thank you for us opening the door and allowing you to come in. Lord, you're not coming in to arrest any of us. You ain't going to take that thing and battering ram and knock the door in, Lord. You'll wait patiently until we open the door. So thank you, Abba Father, for the blessing of your waiting. And thank you, Lord, for the opening of the door, our hearts, the emotional one, the intellectual one, so that we can bloom and grow and get through the storms of life, big ones as well as little ones. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Thank you, Abba Father, amen. Blessing and healing family to all of our land, yours and mine. I'm telling you, it's a battle that we are all in. I'm in it too. But the Lord keeps keeping me. And that's what I've learned to say. I'm being kept by his grace. Because just like you, I'm going through too. But I have learned to put my hands in the hands of the man that stills the water and calms the sea. I've learned to put my hands in the hands of the man from Galilee. Thank you, Abba Father, for sending your son through the path, Lord, back here to his creation to become, to pay the penalty for sin and bless us access to you, to peace and eternity. Lord, we really can't even imagine it. That's what the word of God says. But Lord, in faith, Father, and we thank you for showing us. And Lord, you give us little glimpses here on earth when you bless us so individually and distinctly like you do. And we know that that has only come from you. Thank you, Abba Father. Blessing and healing to my YouTube family. Anyone that will see this on Facebook or TikTok or Instagram, Lord, bless us all and keep us. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Thank you, family, for being here. This is Miss Norma getting ready to sign off. I love you. I'm so glad to be here and to be back. Keep praying for me. Remember our prayer list. Um, just uh, if you uh, are new to it, just say the prayer. God knows when we throw that blanket out, it covers all of us. All of us. And then it covers folks known and unknown to us. Prayer is so powerful. And don't forget to use it. Don't forget to say them. And if you think you don't know how to pray, go talking to somebody else. And just get quiet for a minute and then talk to your father. Write it down. Write him a letter. He sees it. He can read it no matter the language. We have a God who is able. We have a Savior who saves us not only from ourselves, but saves us also from sin. Thank you, family. Blessing and healing to all our land. This is Miss Norma. I'll see you in a little bit. I love you. Have a wonderful, blessed afternoon. Amen. And I'm so glad the lights then came back on, too. Amen. Thank you, Father, for a big jolt in all of our lives today. Amen.